Ryson. Anthrax. Sarin gas. Ebola. VX gas. Chimera viruses. Some enemies are invisible. But the CBRN threat unit is Rainbow's shield against those enemies that can kill you with a single drop of blood. Nanobots online. Big Brother are coming in for Overwatch. Or one wrong breath. terms of claw balls uh, and so we'll see you now in action there's the flying drone in the in the sky and then he activates a tagging window a, yeah oh and uh, and actually we're gonna take a look at it from the uh, uh, teammate perspective so yeah. we're and so now we're at, in yeah, the we POV of Zofia and she gets the information and she gets an easy wall bang oh. when you're live uh, you're moving in line activates his gadget we'll see uh, now classic Ella roaming watchtower <laughs> And she gets caught moving during that tagging window, and Lion can just get in, swoop in, and get. It's a soft counter to the ability. You have a choice to remain still, and when you remain still, you do not get tracked. But now we see Pulse is wiggling around, trying to wiggle the angle, and he gets detected by Lion. But Lion is not careful. He did not see that Ella was there. <laughs> that valuable. Well, he shines in many situations, but on the retakes, he's. He's a monster. So now we see the little Jaeger coming for a, a nasty, uh, a nasty roam, but he gets denied instantly. And now they go in for uh, for the the bomb plant, um, and we'll see Lion activate his ability. And now the defenders have to move, right? They they need to retake this this site, uh, but Lion makes their life very very hard as they try to retake this site because he gets all of the information of the defenders trying to. the radius of the mute jammer um, you are free to move and you will not get detected and so now we see a clever use of a mute who kept a jammer for him while he's roaming and now he can wiggle the angle and lion just you're free to do other things while you're you're in the window you're free to rotate you're free to aim you're free to shoot you're free to throw a c4 um, you're free to change stan stances uh, you're free to deploy a gadget um, but it's really about moving. You try, you press that W, you tilt that joystick uh, forward a little bit, you will get spotted instantly. So really just about the movement. And Amelia, I want to turn to you. Is this kind of exciting thing uh, to be releasing two attackers? I don't think that was really... I, I think we need to really address that where both Lion and Finca are attackers. And how do you think that's going to impact the meta? It's a very good point. Uh, it is something very new for us to introduce two attackers, so it's it's a bit of a new way to address a season, and we don't really know how it will work. Uh, we do intend to balance it out by introducing two defenders later this year. Uh, but uh, yeah, two attackers is, is very interesting. Uh, that will bring two new ways to handle the meta for one side. So yes, defense will be a bit of a disadvantage right now. But based on our data, currently defense is winning a bit more, so I'm not too afraid on how impactful that might be. It will require people to uh, apprehend new ways to play the same round. So that's going to be interesting. And now, as we've seen with both Finca and that Lion now, these kind of global abilities, global buffs, is this sort of a trend that you guys are really excited about implementing into the game where we have this really kind of teamwork and collaborative work with the operator's abilities? Yes, well, collaboration is always on our mind for every operator we make. It is core to Siege, it's super important for us. Uh, but Globals in themselves, it's, it's more like a theme for this season. We kind of introduced it with Dokebi earlier, but this is really the thematic of that season, is the global effect. It doesn't mean that it will be every operator moving on, it's just for this specific season. We are trying to explore something new, and, and we're really looking forward to see how 
that new gameplay area will affect the meta. Yeah, and not only really kind of affect uh, the meta on, on, on the defender side, but also on the attacker side. I mean, we really need to think about how the attackers are moving in, coordinating in, and, and pushing into a site now as, uh, as these players are moving along. And uh, one thing that's really kind of interesting with Lion's Gadget is that you have this choice as a defender whether or not to give that attacker the intel. Is that something that you guys are, are really kind of interested in evolving, it, with, which is more the psychology of the game? As a defender, do I move, do I run? I mean, yeah, we, we've been... Uh we, we've been looking at uh, th this kind of psychology. I mean, as Emilien said, we're, uh, we're really focusing on bringing new gameplay to Siege. We believe that's, uh, that's a way to keep a game fresh, and we're just, uh, as designers, I mean, like, this is really exciting. We want to bring new kinds of gameplay. Like, Siege is never going to stay the same for long. We're always going to be changing the formula a bit and introducing uh, all sorts of new, uh, new uh, gameplays and yeah, get ready for it. it, it there, there's some good stuff coming. I think as soon as players get comfortable, you guys come in and just like mess it all up. With, especially whenever somebody asks me uh, why why doesn't Bandit or Jaeger have the ACOG anymore? Uh, you know, it's it's because we like to change things up a little bit. Well, we have competitiveness at heart too. You know, we can identify when some things uh, some things are broken. We we introduce new rules. Uh, we we just like to keep players on their toes. Keep players on their toes, and they will be definitely keeping uh, players on, on their toes with the addition of Finca and Lion. Uh, I'm so excited for these operators. Um, so that is a look at our two new this operators. Look at Finca, and here's a look at Lion as well in the, his new seasonal game, which uh, I think players are going to be really excited for. And of course, with.